Hi, this is a quick update to follow up on the video I did about the Rode NT USB mic that I bought. And the only thing is, this mic does not have an on off switch. I guess you could unplug it when it's not in use, but um, I prefer not to do that. I was looking for a inline cable has a switch on it um, but could not find one so the next thing i did was looking for a hub a usb hub with switches anyhow i ordered one yesterday and a box arrived today this could be it this way It is plastic chassis, and I guess these are the these are the switches. Oh, let's plug it in. See how it looks like. I have a um, USB hub here on the laptop, just so that I can get this in the camera here. So four ports, and here are the switches that you can see. If I turn it on. You'll see the light, and if I turn them off, lights goes off. All right, pretty nice. So with this hub, I can plug in my USB mic, and uh, I could plug in the webcam as well. With the on-off switch, I don't have to plug and unplug. Okay, now I've got everything connected. Let's do a quick test. The Rode NT-USB mic comes with an indicator, a little blue purplish light inside of the mic, as you can see in the middle of the screen right now. So I'm going to turn it off, and the light should go off. Now I've turned the mic back on and you can see the, uh, the blue purple light came back on. I do notice a slightly delay when I turn on the mic and I was watching on the screen to see the um, audio indicator. So perhaps this solution is not good to use as a instant on off switch during uh, your recording or broadcast. Um, but if you could tolerate a slightly delay when you turn the mic back on, then this should work well. In my case, I, I wouldn't turn the mic on and off during recording. It's more of when I'm not using the mic and then I'd like to have it off. So anyhow, this is a quick update um, for this uh, small addition to the current recording equipment uh, that I have. Thanks for watching. See you next time.